I've taken two 16 hour buses and a very successful hitchhiking trip to come here to the village of Longwa. Why did I take two 16 hour buses and a very successful hitchhiking trip to come to the village of Longwa? Because it's an absurdly fascinating village. Uh, and I'll tell you why. Number one, it sits directly on the border between Myanmar and India. They say that the king here, he eats his dinner in Myanmar and he goes to bed in India. I'm actually standing right on the border of two time zones. Here it's like 8.30 or something, here it's 7.30. The second thing that I find most interesting about Longwa is that it's headhunters. There are people living in this village now who once were known for cutting off their enemies' heads. Uh, we're gonna meet them and talk, talk to them, hopefully. The third thing that I find really interesting, and I fucking hate the word interesting, the third thing that I find fascinating about the village of Longwa is its opium consumption. When the British ploughed their big dick of empire through this part of the world, uh, they, the, the tribes here who were completely uncontacted, had never, ever, ever seen another foreigner up until the mid 1800s, the British came through and they, and they, uh, they fought them with their aggression, spears, swords. Uh, so, the in, so the British introduced opium to the indigenous people here. Uh, because that's just what we did back then. We just gave people opium so they wouldn't fight us. Uh, and opium is still a very, very prevalent issue in this uh, society. I'm hoping to make another video where I go to some, hopefully some opium dens, I guess. See if we can go to an opium den in Nagaland and see how they make opium. I wish I could show you the village, but you can't, the cloud, it's just too cloudy. Here is beautiful. Here, this is where the village is. This is where I'm, this is where I'm staying. Uh, this is a border pillar. So this pillar actually divides India on this side and, uh, and um, Myanmar, Burma on this side. So it's like 8.30 here and 7.30 here. Uh, 1970 was when uh, they drew, drew the line. I'll buy some chili for... Good morning. Hi. Hi. How are you? Good. Hi. Yeah. A camera. Like he's saying, like videos to take videos. Videos not allowed. No filming. Okay. It's a border area, so we can't film. So we're about to enter the king's. The King's Palace, Nako. Here's the borderline from here, no? This is the borderline. Yeah, this is the side game. This is the side game, Myanmar. Yeah. Ah, this, this, is, in this is in India <laughs> and this is in Myanmar. So the custom here in Longwa is before we do anything, when we arrive, we have to come and pay respects to the king and check in with him. So I've got yeah. some gifts, some tea. Yeah, you're yeah. the next king. Yeah, I think I'll be the next king. You are yeah. the... No, 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 no. Yeah. Hi, how are you? Nice to meet you. Yeah, Hi, good. thank you. Mm. I have a gift for you. Yeah, 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 okay, yeah. here you are. This is for you. You're the young prince. Yeah. Wow, you're thank welcome. You. Oh, look at that smile. So, so sweet. From here to the borderline, not from here. So we are in Burma now. Now we're in Burma. <laughs> and now we're in, and this is India. India. Yeah. Fantastic. Thank you so much for letting me come. <laughs> thank you. Yeah. You can keep our... Uh, Yes, of course, yeah. Gift tea and biscuits for you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah. Have a seat in Burma. I like that. Nogao is my friend here. He knows the village very well. So he's taking me around. Hello. Yeah, tell me about this gun maker then. Yeah. Tell, we couldn't meet the king, by the way. He wasn't feeling very well, so we're gonna maybe meet him tomorrow. Tell me about the gun maker. Yeah. The gun maker's house. Yeah, so we, we'll talk with him. We'll yeah. Talk with him also, Tommy, okay, this is the house of the gun. Hi. Hi. Hi, how are you? You okay? Fine. Good. Hello. Thank you, nice to meet you. This is the house of the gun yeah, maker. Here's the, here's the gun maker.
Don't you dare shoot me, please. <laughs> hey, dude. Hello. Hey, he's not shy anymore. How do I say, what's your name? Name, Namase. Ki Namase. Ah. Ki Namase. Ki Namase. Manja. What a cutie. <laughs> Okay, this is the first Nagaland gun review. I really, really fucking hate guns, but... Okay, ready? Yes. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> Dude, that's got a kick to it. Okay, so um, I like the weight of the gun, had a really good kick to it. <laughs> First Nagaland gun review, I'm gonna give it a solid 8.5. 8.5, if you come here to Nagaland, come here to Longwa, come and see my friend, the gun maker, and he will show you exactly how he makes the gun from scratch. And you can even shoot it into his garden wall. <laughs> You're so beautiful. Thank you. Are you married? Shima, are you married? <laughs> no? <laughs> Not married yet? Okay, you can marry me. If that's okay. Yeah, let's go. Come to England with me. Dude. I'll see you later. Bye. I really want to marry her. I do. Why is every girl I've met in Nagaland smoking hot, dude? If you're watching this and you're a Nagamese... If you're a Naga woman, give me a call, please. If you want to come to England and marry me. Yeah. A Christian Baptist church bang in the middle of the jungle. Nagaland is a Christian state, which I find mad. It's only been a Christian state for the past 100 years, 150 years. But before that, the people here, the tribe people, they worshipped the sun and they worshipped the moon and they worshipped the nature and they worshipped fire and animals and snakes and everything. Um, and then one day these, these Christian missionaries came through from uh, America or England and they said, hey, um, you know how you've been worshipping the sun and the moon and, and, and the nature and, and the animals? Basically, hate to tell you this, there is this dude, God, and he had this son called Jesus and basically God created the world in seven days and there's actually this book uh there's this book that tells you all about it and the tribes people just went fuck have you heard about have you heard about this god gee, yeah so we shouldn't have been worshiping the sun and the moon for the past ten thousand years hmm all right let's have a look at this book then do you know what i mean it's insane to me it's absolutely insane uh and now everybody here everybody is very Christian. Uh, that's only come about in the past 100, 150 years, you know? I think it was cooler than when they were, when they were worshipping the sun and the moon and the snakes and the foxes. So this is it. This is the India-Myanmar official border. This whole area is Burma. What you see before you is Myanmar. And here is India.